Trombone Champ has made its way to the Switch, and from the moment I was introduced to this game during its Steam release, I was convinced that it needed to land on the console. The reason? Just its potential when paired with the system's motion controls, it seemed ideal. So is this really the case, and should Trombone Champ slide its way into your library? Let's find out. If you enjoy this video, subscribe for daily Nintendo Switch content, and this video will be a little different to usual. I'll be treating you to a few brief musical performances throughout, so get those earplugs ready. <laughs> Gameplay true to its rhythm game and nature is simple. Your mastery relies heavily on the process of learning the tracks and perfecting that at speed. Now on screen, notes glide towards a bar on the left, dictating the pitch of the note. It's going to be up to you to both match the height of the note and then blow and release in perfect sync. Your precision will determine your score. You know, the closer your match, the better the score will be. That's really about it, except for an auto-activating multiplayer symbolized by the trombone at Champ logo that is filling up at the top of the screen. Beware, however, though, when this does activate, a single miss will deactivate it immediately. Songs vary greatly in difficulty, from something relatively basic, such as Think A National Anthem, to the complexities of Corsicuffs at the Flight of the Bumblebee, a song that's always fascinated me, but you know it's going to destroy you, and in true fashion I had absolutely no chance. Well, there is some variety in here as well regarding genre. It understandably leans into a lot of classical pieces, you know, classic tunes as well, such as board game pieces, even the occasional nursery rhyme. Now, there are a few other options, a few dance moments, a few scar inclusions. Definitely modernize many of the classic tracks as well, but this isn't going to present you with a massive chart-topping list of songs, as it's not really going to work with the core instrumentation. I would have personally loved to have seen more options, such as Scar, but a lot of these, however, will still be recognizable, and there's over 45 songs included. Let's dive into the controls of the game, which offers four options. First, the preset option taps into the motion controls, where a simple wrist rotation is sufficient. Now, this definitely gets tiring on the older wrist at moments, so some may prefer the second option, which involves simply moving your entire arm. Moving on then, the third option is a more traditional approach, where you control the pitch with the left or right stick. This method, however, it is not recommended and considered the most difficult, because these notes, they come in thick and fast. The fourth and final option then, perhaps the most unique, is the use of the IR sensor in the right Joy-Con. Here you move your hand towards and away from the Joy-Con to demonstrate that move in pitch. I found this really interesting, but notice that all options required pushing the trigger to blow notes, and in this particular option I did find that a little awkward just because of the way you are holding this particular controller now, plus you don't have a free hand. Moreover, my aim was just way off, so here's a peek at my one and only attempt with this control scheme. So how is the sync and how do these controls perform? And I'd say they were mostly fine for me. It's worth knowing every single time you load into a song, it's gonna read where your controller is and that will set as the central point. So I had to just keep reminding myself of this as I dove through the track list. Now, should you notice an issue where it's not quite reading, you know, things right or the middle point doesn't feel correct, you can hold the Y button to recenter the controls. The IR sensor option as well also appeared to work well and I'm putting my Poor performance here simply down to my lack of ability. I have noticed then that when the trombone champ multiplayer kicks in, the bloom can occasionally cause a very almost like visual stutter with the notes, so do be warned of that. There appears to be, however, no impact on the track or where the notes display. I didn't see any sort of notable impact to my actual performance itself. <laughs> On 
on this note, however, I didn't really like the visual look of this, if I'm being honest. It overpowers many of the notes, making winning streaks even more difficult. But you can turn this visual filter off in the accessibility menu, which has a huge selection of options from visual aids to think automatic trombone blowing, which may be good for those that want to start off things simple. This option, however, just be warned, will impact your score to keep leaderboards fair, but it is going to be a great training option. Other training modes include then the ability as well to slow down songs or even speed things up if you really want to get a little crazy with it. Now I'm nowhere near that level just yet, you know, and the idea of something like Flight of the Bumblebee at double speed sounds absolutely terrifying. Trombone and Champ then might just have some of the most unique unlockables available, at least in terms of how you acquire them. Now, as you play your way through the game, completing songs, you amass an in-game currency. This currency can then be used to purchase one or two things, collectible cards that can be converted into rewards with a bathroom-themed turd conversion process that I did not expect, or you can donate them to a baboon that will reward you with new items. Now these options include a range of characters, trombones and unique trombone sounds. I will note here it's a bit disappointing that a character creator isn't featured in the game, it seems like an easy addition, but the included me-like characters do offer enough variety. The game actually then as well features a secret story, but I'll leave that down to you to uncover. I'm not a big collectible individual, transparently for me it's really just jumping into the songs that provides the entertainment here, but I appreciate the commitment to the weirdness and kind of dating myself here a bit, but for those that watched Mighty Boosh back in the day, it's definitely got an air of that eccentric style to it all. So having played both the Steam version of this game and now the Nintendo Switch build, I have pros and cons for each, and it's really the type of experience you are looking for that will determine where you go ahead and play. The mouse and the keyboard controls, for example, from PC, provide the best accuracy in my opinion, so if you're all about chasing perfect performances and high scores, I would recommend that version of the game as it will provide the least frustration. If however you simply desire fun and are willing to sacrifice some accuracy and occasionally even reset the central point for motion, then this is the build perfectly tailored to your needs. In my opinion, the Switch build is miles ahead in terms of just the sheer enjoyment. You know, it was always a funny game, but now you're so immersed in the physical action that it's difficult to not have a constant grin on your face. Also as well, the included 4 player multiplayer will no doubt be a popular option as you all try to perform a song together in sync. Now sadly I do want to point out I couldn't check this option because it doesn't include online play which I would have loved to have seen. Overall I think Trombone Champ is a great game, now is it going to keep you locked in for hours on end? Probably not, it is a simplistic rhythm game that will no doubt get repetitive for many. However though if you need a local party game or you want something for 15 minutes here and there, it is a great option and there's a reason it's had such a massive following recently. The Yuma probably won't be for everyone either at points, but you can mostly bypass that if toilet humour and eccentric ideas are not your thing. Now naturally, I do want to point out here, I'm only a couple of hours in on the Switch build, so do know I'm basing a score today here on my time with the Steam build as well as the Switch release, and it's a great 8 out of 10 from me. There's a few areas they could have clearly expanded upon, but there's nothing else quite like it out there right now, and I do think so many of you will have a blast just kind of playing through the core songs. So will you be checking out Trombona Champ? Let me know in the comments. With that, hit subscribe, join us here for reviews of deals, news and other bits daily, and I'll see you all on the next video. Enjoy a few of my other performances actually today as a little encore for the video. <laughs>